my first memory of going to the theatre would be at Perth Theatre, uh, where I'm from, and sitting in the auditorium, I can even picture where we were sitting in the dress circle round to, like stage left, so round to the right of the auditorium, and it was due, it was Puss in Boots or I wish I could remember, I think it was Puss in Boots or Mother Goose Panto and during the shout outs and it was a front of cloth scene with two actors and I really should go back and find out who it could, who it could be and have I met them since. But uh, we got a shout out, my brother and I, because it was his birthday and I, and I got that shock of like, they know us, a connection. And then it's been really lovely since going back there, performing there, and you know, that's where it all kind of, yeah, started. Doing dancing displays on that stage, and then, yeah. I don't think I can think of a, of a single unit thing that I could name, but going back to the sets, definitely that period when I was at college and which would be the early 2000s, 99, you know, and um, Anne-Marie Timoney, watching her continue in so many different styles and um, yeah, pro different productions, like she'd be in an Arthur Miller one season and then a new play adaptation and another, and she just, and she had shockingly red hair and she just had it for me. I just thought she was incredible. And um, then again, getting to work with her, I worked with her at the sets, and telling, yeah, being able to tell her that she inspired me. I think I would like to play, I'm always interested in characters who have complexities of uh, personality, nothing clear cut. So I'm interested in personality disorders and things that, or yeah, things that um, are not just one, one level. So in that respect, I think I would like to play Hedda Gabler because I find her, her complexities of character really interesting and what you could do with that with, you know, and obviously, not obviously, but Lady Macbeth falls under that category as well. And I quite often play or have done a kind of innocent. So I'd like to scrap that and, and be a bit gritty, vampy or, you know, uh, evil, dirty, bad, all those things that are the opposite of you. So, yeah. of a production that I never saw but I've read and some I sometimes do a bit of teaching workshops at colleges and they did some scenes from it the wonderful world of dissocia uh, Anthony Nielsen because again the the lead character's female she's going through personality traits that you know or a possible mental mental illness um, that so that interests me and the, the, the images I've seen from it and just the wonderful, wor wonderful world of it really excites me and I, and I never saw it. So I'd, I would love to see that. And I think I, I, I just enjoy our big ensemble pieces and yeah, collabor collaborating with, yeah, big meaty ensembles so lots of kind of shows from the old sets days um, that that are from the 70s when you when when you go through like the history of the sets and all those brilliant books you know the, the images and um, being in that building and again working with um, Giles and uh, David, I didn't work with Philip, but 
they had such a history and they were so much part of that and the avant-garde big productions and um, trying out new things and just being a bit kind of different and using this incredible space. So I'd like to go back and see some of the old sets productions. <laughs>